guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I came, I saw, I came, I saw, I praise the Lord, the break the law. I take what's mine, then take some more. It rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. We're just saying no to the glasses because if you guys could see the lighting that Norwich is giving us right now. And then the light in my ring light is gonna give me, or with the circle little reflection that my glasses are giving me, it's not, it's not hitting, okay? So today I'm gonna have, so today, so today we're talking about the ultimate university checklist, taking off everything that you need for uni and the stuff that you might forget, but I definitely forgot to. So this video is here to help you guys be the big sister that you guys may have or may not have, and just be there to support you guys. We're gonna split it up into categories. We're gonna split it up today. We're gonna be study essentials, room, bathroom, food, and then personal items and just some extras. Now, if we skip through all the boring stuff, for your study essentials, you are going to need, I've got all of my little handy dandy laptops. Let's just read it from there. You're gonna need the bog standard, the usual pens, pencils, highlighters, your lever arch folders, I barely use mine, but if you're very organized, you can use them too. I cannot stress it enough. Notepads are my life. I think I've gone through four. I had one for just like the whole semester one, never doing that again. Never doing that again. Just future Leona, don't do that again. Because if I lose that like book, that's my whole semester one revision gone. And I like to do a lot of notes, so. Why am I risking it? I don't know. Notebooks are so important. I would recommend a notebook per module. So if you know how many modules you're doing, I do four. I would have four different notebooks and at the front I would be like, introduction to neuropharmacology, for one. Introduction to the business environment, two. Or introduction to medicine or chemistry. As you can see, there's a lot of introduction. I am a first year, but definitely recommend notebooks. One per module, if you want, if you can. You get like a pack of three of like these Puka pad ones on Amazon, like, they're not, it wasn't that expensive, but I would recommend those, because I, paper's beautiful, like, I just get a bit more. Then you're gonna need a ruler, eraser, stapler. Um, you could have a diary. I have diary written down. Did I really use my diary? No. I tended to make a lot of stuff on my phone, but if you want to be organized, have a cute little diary, why not? Depending on how you revise flashcards, I cannot lie, I did not use any of my flashcards this year. My revision has mainly been doing practice questions and going through pre-recorded lectures that we had. So I would recommend a USB stick for your memory and just, just transport anything from your laptop to like the computers in the library. Uh, depending on how you revise a whiteboard, whiteboard pens this again is up to preference plastic wallets they have pretty much saved me always want to keep some documents like really neat get a plastic wallet just keeps it out of the way you are going to need these little pins like do you know the little dot let me show you what pins I'm talking about these little pins these little pins I literally found these in Debenhams in the reduced area machines are going to give you like a chalkboard or like a pin board. I like to pin up random stuff there. Like right now I have my scrunchies, my jewellery, some like revision timetables, my to-do list, campus map, like just random stuff. Or some people stick up photos up there of like their friends and stuff. Also I have a weekly planner. I really do recommend a weekly planner because it just makes sure that you have your week planned. Like it's in the name guys. Like what am I doing? I would feel like my modules catch up to me and I'm not doing a pre-reading that I needed and time so having a weekly planner definitely helped me loads to know like oh my gosh you have this module again but you haven't done the pre-reading let's go because no one's gonna be there to remind you in uni like everything's up to you to plan i will put a link down below for my weekly planner let me show you guys so this is the weekly planner that i had literally just has monday to sunday and a little note section of course i still got pages left there were weeks when i just didn't use it or i was at home for easter home for Christmas so I wouldn't be using it. I'll give you guys an example of what, like a page of my weekly planner. So this is like an example of how I would do my weekly planners. Like everything's color coordinated. But for example, I would have the time of my lecture. It would be like nine to 11, I'd do a workshop. 11.30 to 12.30, have a lecture. Two to three, have a tutorial. And then 4.30 to 6.30, have an in-person. Did you see my life? Did you really see what I was going through? And I'll have cheer dance practice on Monday. 
no, got cancelled and moved it to Tuesday. So this really just helps me if I like take it off to know what I've done and know what I need to do. You're making me sense. And I cannot stress this enough, get scissors. Get scissors, just get scissors. But I think that's everything from the study essentials. If I've forgotten anything, I'll just put it over here. But that's just the main box standard stuff I could think of. Okay, moving swiftly on, let's get into your room now. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I would say I have one of the nicest rooms on campus. Not like what I have, but just like I've made it homely. I made it look like it's lived in and I've decorated it, obviously. Rooms are really important in uni. You're literally gonna be in there 24 seven, especially my years at the first years. Hopefully not loads of you new first years, but if it is online, you will be in your room. You'll be in your bed. You roll out onto your desk. Or you do your lectures in your room on your bed. Like, that's up to you, but I cannot do lectures in my bed. But you just roll onto your desk and you do your lectures and then you do your work, eat your food, go back into your room. It's like your room needs to feel nice. Your room needs to feel long. Let's get on to what? So let's get what? Blah, blah, blah. So let's get on. So let's get... So let's get on to what you should put inside your room. Jeez, that was a tongue twister. Starting off with the basics, you're gonna need bedding. I would recommend having two different bed sheets just so you're not doing a lot of washing. You should know by the time around that you're moving in what type of bed you're gonna have, even if it's a single three quarter bed or a double. I know some people have got double bed size like sheets and they'll just fold them over. Really helpful if you're moving into second year and you probably will have a double bed to just reuse the same ones but if you're like me and you're extra and just wanted a whole new pair of sheets just for the hype get some like single bed sheets i got mine from ikea they were fairly reasonably priced and i think they're very cute i think they just they fit the vibe like i really knew that my room was gonna have these red headboards so i was like cool let me get some like greens and pinks and just stuff that i like just because i'm extra depending on your room and what your university do provide you you should know if you have a desk lamp or not i did have a desk lamp that i did bring with me then i realized oh my gosh there's like a desk lamp switch already so i don't need one so my parents just brought it home but a desk lamp is really helpful. Bring a speaker, a portable speaker, unless you're like one of them boys who want the So I'm not gonna lie, uni, we use those a lot. <laughs> Bringing a portable speaker is so important, not just for like your showers, as I had my little tiny shower speaker. Literally just vibing in your kitchen with your flatmates, bringing a speaker is so helpful. Vibing in your room with your friends, bringing a speaker is so important. We have like a little lake filled area, bringing a speaker is so important. Portable speakers do range in price, they could start at 20 pounds, they could go all the way to 200 pounds, depending on what's comfortable for you and what brand you like and how big you want your speaker to be, I would recommend bringing one. Oh my gosh, bring a laptop. What the heck? Bring a laptop, bring your iPad, bring your tablet, bring stuff that you're gonna like watch your lectures on and do your work on. Duh. How do I forget that? That's going in. That is such a blue, but that is definitely going in. I don't know about you, but I listen to music every time I'm getting ready. Music will be blasting, and don't worry about disturbing people because you're gonna have D and B down the hall. Someone playing a bit of R and B. I'll be here banging out Megan the Stallion, and they'll be there banging out Drill. And everyone's just happy with everything. You know what I mean? Next on the list is a fro or a blanket. I got mine from B and M for like five pounds. Blankets are so important, especially in the colder months. So having a fro or a blanket is really nice, just to like snuggle up in. My blanket's currently not on my bed right now because I am in the middle of packing and when you guys probably do see this i'll be probably on my way home or at home by then which is really sad i didn't get to film videos in this room but you know i'm back for now so just enjoy me while i'm here okay cool that's swag yay next on the list is an iron bringing an iron is something you wouldn't think you need but you do like at home i iron everything so it was normal for me to bring an iron a door wedge is really nice to have something a door wedge is something i didn't think i would need but i heard someone else say to get a door wedge and i did i would also recommend little storage box shelves i'm not gonna lie b and m b and m might as well sponsor me because the way i shopped in b and m before uni i was just like i need it I need this. So I have like these little pink ones. They were literally like two pounds from b and So in that box, it has like makeup stuff in there. I have another one, like a slightly bigger one for all my hair stuff, hair cream. I have another one for perfumes and stuff. You can use whatever you want. You can always put it in there. It helps so everything's not everywhere. It helps it look a little bit more organized and just neat. I was very disappointed when I found out that my uni room doesn't have a full length mirror. 
it wasn't making sense to me. So I went to B&M <laughs> I got a over the door little hook mirror and it literally just hooks over the door and it's a full length mirror. And depending on your uni and what they provide, you can get a bin, but I was given two bins, a sanitary bin as I am female and a normal recycling bin in my room. So I did not need to bring a bin, but I would recommend bringing extra bin bags just so you can just tie it up throw it into the recycling and it's all done. I recommend not putting food in there, just putting wrappers and putting food straight into the normal bin, otherwise your room will stink. Speaking of stinking rooms, I also get a little uh, plug fragrance thing. Let me show you mine. So I have one of these. You can literally get it from Tesco. I think I had some at home already, but if you get them from Tesco, like a new pack and it comes with like two fragrances as well as so around about like, don't quote me on it. It's around about like eight pound like, and I don't quote me on it, but you can always get refills. Remember everything I'm saying is not like a must. You don't have to go out of your budget just to do this. It's just something a little extra that I do. This made my room feel very homely and made my uni stay feel very comfortable. So I didn't really get homesick because I feel like everything is here. Everything that I had back at home is here. Please do not ever feel obliged to be. Oh my gosh, Leonis, I have to go get this. I have to go get this. It's way out of my budget, but I'm gonna go get it because Leonis. Like, please, don't hold me accountable. <laughs> don't hold me accountable. Okay. A laundry bag. It's simple. Just carry your laundry. Take it to circuit. They're gonna steal your money. Circuit is gonna steal your money. Let me know, let me know, let me know. It will help you loads. It sorts your life out. Don't have your clothes just piled on the mess on the floor. Let's not do that, guys. Come on. Let's be clean. Hashtag be clean for 2021. Hashtag be clean forever. What the heck? I got my laundry bag from Ikea. Let me show you. This is my laundry bag. Right now it's full with clothes that I'm taking back home. Get a drying rack as well. This is the drying rack I have. It's pretty big. Um, I'm not sure where my parents got this from, but you can pretty much find them like Argos, Ikea. I would like to say B&M, but let me not. I'm not toot their horn too much, but they are really helpful so you're not just spending £2.40 as we have to spend here at UEA to dry your clothes or just to dry like your underwear or your socks. Um, I would also recommend bringing a mattress protector because you are going to get there and the mattress is just going to be exposed. The mattress is just there. Also recommend getting a mattress sopper because these springy beds are going to break your back. Bring a mattress topper or an extra duvet, bulk up your mattress and you're gonna have the best night's sleep ever. But yeah, I'll put anything else here for your room, but I think that pretty much concludes everything that you need for your room. Any extras will be added here. Let's move on swiftly. Moving on, we're gonna start with the bathroom. Now, I was lucky enough to have an ensuite. I know some accommodations do not offer ensuites, so or some people just choose not to have an ensuite and have a shared bathroom. But this is everything that I have for my ensuite. You can accommodate it to how and where you'll be living at uni. So I have a definition of extra. So I wanted my bathroom just to be a bit more nice and more homely again. So I would recommend getting a bath mat or just like a towel that is made on a mat for the floor. My bathroom is a wet room bathroom, but the whole floor doesn't flood over luckily. So I do have a bathroom mat on the floor that I would use just to step on out of the shower and just dry myself off. My bathroom does come with a towel rack, so bring a towel. I would also recommend bringing a hand towel as well. But this again, just depends on you and your routine. Again, very extra, me being me. I have a little hand soap dispenser that matches my little bath. <laughs> soap dispenser which matches my toothbrush dispenser i'm literally not even joking but i got a cute little set i just put my hand soap in there then i started getting really like pretty soap so i just kept the soap in this normal like little container yeah like i wasn't i wasn't joking these are actually from ikea spring soap a bit self-explanatory but being shower soap so you can shower <laughs> I was the definition, I was the epitome, epitome is that the right word? Is that the right words? I was the highest of all highs extra and got myself a whole shelf. Organizer shelf from Ikea. If I can find the photos, I will insert them here or here. This is where I would keep like the rest of my soap, my extra soap, facial wash stuff, cleaning stuff. Like anything that's bathroom related goes on that shelf. So I would recommend that, that helps me a lot. Don't forget the standard toothpaste, toothbrush. If you're not bringing toothpaste and toothbrush, bring mouthwash this is your ultimate checklist i'm doing everything i'm doing the basics come on guys i know you know this i know you know this depending on your skincare routine your face washes your exfoliators your toners male and female because men can do skincare too 
hashtag skincare with Hiram. I love him. I am quite, uh, not a massive clean freak, but I do like being clean. So I did bring cleaning products. This includes bleach, just a spray bleach, a daily shower spray, toilet cleaner, like the one that you put around the rim, sponges that you like use to clean, gloves, so you're not just touching in all the bleach. Depending on your university, they can provide you cleaners for your room or for your bathroom. We used to have cleaners used to come in our bathroom, but then when COVID hit like a massive high, the cleaners stopped coming in our bathroom. So I really knew it was gonna be my responsibility to clean. Like I do not mind cleaning. I would recommend getting some cleaner stuff as well, just so you can keep your room and at least your bathroom nice because after some time it does build up and you're just like, oh wait. My yeah, you've got to do it yourself. Depending on the toothbrush that you do have, bring your toothbrush charger. I have an Oral-B electric toothbrush. Well, I didn't think I would need, but I really enjoy using it. It's a floor mat. I got mine from Ikea. It's like a non-slip mat, and it just really helps us sound like you're just like directly slipping in the shower because it does get slippery after some time and yeah anything else i forgot about the bathroom i will include here but that's everything that i had in my bathroom at uni moving swiftly on to the kitchen now i'm just gonna list it all out it should be standard but the first one is padlocks depending on your uni some of the kitchen cupboards might have like a space where padlocks can go. At the start of the year, my flatmates and I were using padlocks, but as trust is built, you won't really need it. But if you just have stuff like your food or cutlery that you don't want other people to use, you can use the padlocks. Crockery, you can get an Ikea set of four, but there's really no need. Realistically, right now I have two plates, a large bowl, a small bowl, like a large bowl for pasta, a small bowl for cereal, which I barely even eat. And that's all that I'm going with. Got two pairs of cutlery, so two forks, two knives, two spoons, two big spoons, two small spoons, and two glasses all of this was from ikea or dunham they do really really good prices and i would recommend them you will need a chef's knife or like a big knife like if you're cutting meat or just like someone that's really hard sweet potatoes as well i found it really useful to use like a big chef's knife i got mine from debenhams chopping board is really important i would recommend using two like one for meats and stuff and one for others but to be honest some people just use other people's one large frying pan preferably a non-stick frying pan and two saucepans so like one big pot one small pot this really helps for like when i make a spaghetti like i'll make my sauce in one big pot make my spaghetti in the other small pot and then just put it all in one pot baking trays and oven trays this is something like people did bring some people forgot people will borrow it like i don't really mind people borrowing it but some people don't clean it so i would recommend getting loads of baking trays just so like once it get burnt you can just like leave it for your flatmates to use Cling foil is really helpful. Cling film is really helpful too. I had mugs for like my tea, hot chocolate. A can opener is very important. Some cans literally don't have the little poppy things. So a potato peeler, something that some people forgot, but a potato peeler is really good. A cheese grater. Now, I think we all use a cheese grater until we all got too lazy and started buying grated cheese because it's just easier. Some people brought this into a flat and depending on how you and your flatmates are, you can share the sponge. We used to share sponges, like we weren't really picky on whose sponge was what, but we have like a sponge and a stick edition matic or something i'll include a picture here if i can find one but these are lifesavers just put the soap inside they don't clean the best but like they're really easy and you can get like a pack of 10 sponges from like tesco or something those really help as well and washing up soap i would recommend bringing soap as well but everyone again in my flat we just use the same soap but it's helpful to have loads more at one point we literally had six different types of like fairy liquid and it went relatively quickly then it started to slow down when you started to see that people weren't washing up um, I was the only one to actually bring oven gloves, but oven gloves are really, really helpful. Tea towels. Now, I would like say get like a pack of four and then multiply it because tea towels are going to just be like this. People are going to use your tea towels for like different random uses. They're going to get dirty, mucky. People aren't going to clean their tea towels. I would keep my tea towels, my clean ones in my room and um, the ones I use in my cupboard. So people really like in my cupboard at the back. So I would only really use my tea towel. Containers are your lifesaver, especially for me, someone who likes to cook in bulk and then keep the rest for later. I would recommend getting a container. Those are very helpful. I store my food in there. I marinate my chicken. My chicken is literally marinating right now because I'm gonna make a chicken curry. But I would marinate my stuff in there, keep my salad fresh, my vegetables fresh in a container. Spices, I got a spice rack from b and It was like 10 pounds, 10 different spices. Those really help to like get the bog standard spices. Some of them I still haven't opened to this day, but it's like a spice rack wheel. I'll like try to include a picture. And a cutlery holder, just one for your cutlery I got mine from ikea again it's got like little holes in it i'll include a picture i just put all of my, my cutlery in there and i also put like all of my cooking utensils in there 
this is the ultimate university checklist so you don't have to get everything but I do have just some standard food that you would get so I want to go through it really quickly and list it all down here as well so we have rice pasta noodles eggs sugar coffee tea pasta sauces ketchup condiments um squash S squash is like your life squash is your lifesaver just scrap all of this wait you're gonna get tired of drinking water and buying juice is just long squash is dead cheap like a pound to like two pound max moving swiftly on from my squash addiction cereals bread butter biscuits and all these snacks i have like a little snack drawer you've probably seen in my vlogs before um yeah and then any other food that you like to eat depending on your like background and what you eat and allergies you just know the food that you're going to bring but always bring food with you to uni i think it's easier that your parents do like your first shopping for you and you have it already sorted than you going into uni having like the shops 20 minutes away and you have no idea how you're gonna get there and carry everything back now these are just some of the personal stuff that you can bring this was like stuff that I put down for myself clothes bring whatever clothes you want to bring bring clothes suitable for the weather bring clothes knowing that if I'm moving in September I'm not gonna be wearing short shorts or shorts every single day because it is cold shoes don't bring all your shoes in the world but don't bring one pair of shoes as well bring all your hair stuff your hair masks shampoos conditioners deodorant you don't want to be smelling up in fresh as week. Bring deodorant. The females, any sanitary needs that you need. Uh, a pack of tissues. Because hay fever is going to come and bite you in the bum. Phone charger, like please remember your phone charger. And your laptop charger. And your iPad charger, your tablet charger. Just chargers for everything. Just bring your chargers. You're literally moving out. Like you're not going to be wanting to get to uni and then be running into town to be buying stuff that you forgot at home you're moving out bring everything like you're leaving for good um a first aid kit i was very very clumsy like very very clumsy when i got into uni tip for future leona charge your phone before you start filming so it doesn't die on you halfway oh my gosh vitamins are really important any medication that you need paracetamol have proven because you will need it after freshers week there is something called freshers flu not to scare any of you but just mixing with new people like your body's not gonna like it so it's always nice to have your vitamins on check paracetamol and ibuprofen and yeah any extra stuff i'll just put them there or drop them down in the comments below so if you don't mind hearing my voice over and over again, you can keep re-watching this video or I will post a PDF version of the checklist that I made for myself. It really helped me for uni. If you think there's anything else I should add or something that I've forgotten, drop them down in the comments below because that will really, really help. Now, just when you go to uni, just remember to have fun. Like, as much as you're there to study, you're there for new life experiences, to make friends and to grow as a person, I think first year uni was so great like I absolutely love staying on campus I'm so happy that I go to a campus uni and the uni I go to and the friends I've made I did like a little montage I'm just gonna do like a little sneak peek eek hug eek. but I really really do enjoy uni and I hope that you guys enjoy uni too make sure to stay safe a lot of accidents do happen at uni and a lot of pressure is on uni students and people's mental health is tested but always remember that there's resources and people that you can always talk to at uni if you're ever struggling and i'll drop them down below if anyone is struggling or if anyone is worried about uni if you do have any questions my instagram dms are always open basically.leona and i'm happy to help anyone that is struggling now you go and enjoy uni okay and be safe and make sure you remember everything and also bring a small bag for traveling home because you are going to go get homesick as much as you might be like yes i'm leaving my house you are going to miss home and you are going to want to travel back it's always nice to go back at home and say hello to i hope you guys enjoy your first year of uni as much as i enjoyed mine and let's hope that covid doesn't make it all online lectures too stay safe everybody bye it rains it pours it rains it pours yeah I sold the pack, the loose, the hard. Yeah. I listen to X, I peep the bars, yeah. the snakes, the rats, the cats, the dogs, the